And as said, uh, he popped out to the shops. Good morning guys and uh, welcome to a vlog that I was actually supposed to be filming a couple of days ago and it's Laurie's come to ruin the fun and games. I've come down to uh, a local supermarket car park because it is a, usually a quiet place um, because today I am driving my car over to Dub Customs. But the exciting thing is, as you may have already guessed from the title and potentially the thumbnail, it is the return of the Nuke, my Audi A1. I cannot wait, it has been way too long. And there is a very long story that I'm gonna try and shorten down to in the car when we are on the M25. So I thought, well, whilst it's raining, why not jump out of my car and uh, show you uh, how the AMG is looking um, and then jump in the car, set the GoPro up, head on to the M25, get round to Dub Customs. Sam's F-Type is there, basically. Sam is on holiday at the moment. It is also his birthday today as I'm filming this, so happy birthday, Sam, if you're watching this. Um, but I, maybe, maybe as a birthday present, I might just try and make his car better one more time. Right, guys, we are en route to Dub Customs. And first things first, I apologize for not uploading over the last 48 hours. This video was actually supposed to be filmed 24 hours ago and was gonna go live yesterday at 6 p.m. Unfortunately, there were a few last minute delays to my Audi A1, which I will get onto. And as well, on Sunday, I was incredibly busy getting the SOL Clothing website back online. Supercars of London Clothing is back online, London. .co.uk. This time last year, I came up with the idea that I wanted to create some cool clothing that was linked to my YouTube channel that I would actually go into a store and buy. And that is where SOL Clothing has come from. Check out the website and follow on Instagram and Twitter. All of the details are going to be in the description box below. Moving forward to my Audi A1, or better known, the Nuke. If you are a recent subscriber to Supercars of London, you may not have seen a video on my Audi A1. I bought this back in September and I fell in love with it. You guys fell in love with it. I, t I absolutely love it. And unfortunately, it got attacked by a tree during Storm Katie back in March. So a tree landed on the car. It's got hundreds hundreds of dents. It got quite badly damaged at the back with the rear window and the tailgate. That was replaced, but then I shipped it off to get fully fixed and have the Audi OEM factory Bose surround sound system added and installed into the car. So it is gonna be upgraded. It is gonna be back better than ever at the end of the week. The car is currently at Dub Customs. It's final stop at Dub Customs. It's still black, unfortunately. It is still black. Uh, there's no wrap on it at the moment. But they ordered the wrong spoiler for it. <laughs> so I think they accidentally ordered an S1 spoiler, um, but mine is an A1 S line. So at the moment, my car hasn't got a spoiler, but by the end of the week, it will have a spoiler. It's always fun to hit an underpass, a tunnel. However, today, being that this is the first day that I've fully experienced my 625 brake horsepower in the wet, I made sure that I was in Sport Plus, meaning traction control is fully on. We're off the dual carriageway on the bumpiest road in Basildon. But it takes us to Dub Customs. <laughs> Way too slippery. I'll give you an idea of just how slippery it is. <laughs> That's how slippery it is. <laughs> well, I'm excited to. Oh, slippery. I'm in flip-flops, even though it's raining and it's less than 20 degrees outside. Where is it? Where's the beast? Focus RS. Oh, there it is. Oh, Stu the man. Oh my God, look at it. Oh, 
Fiesta is going highlight to yellow, satin highlight to yellow. Should I wrap my Audi in that? Right, okay, Sam is on holiday, as I've already mentioned, and his F-Type is here. Last time that he left his car unattended, I came to Dub Custom and I took the white lip off his car. Today, I'm thinking, there's not gonna be a reaction. He's not gonna turn up, he's in Bali. There's been a lot of comments on social media about putting the white dot back on as a bit of a laugh, but I think I could take it one step, one step further. And I might do a Pac-Man all the way down his car with little white dots as if Pac-Man is chasing his food. We're going for a white Pac-Man. Sean, who's gonna walk through there now, is gonna be cutting it up. Done it. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some circles cut as well. Let's get some slice of, a slice of cheese. So rather than taking the white lip off, now we're adding the white bits. I thought it'd be better than the it'd be better than the um, white circle that he had. Yes, that. Loads better already, much better than the white dot. Sid is here, sideways Hello. Sid, and he has got his new Cayman R from Porsche Colchester. There you go. Tell me about it, tell me about it. So then, uh, <laughs> Porsche Cayman R, basically last of the run in the mill of the 987, and uh, you can sort of think of it as an old GT4. It's a slightly sharpened up Cayman. This one's finished in guards red with a PDK gearbox, and it's got the optional carbon fiber seats. I like the car. Oh, you have got the key. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at that. Jeez. Yeah. Centre console finishing guards red. Uh, wow. It, and it goes sideways. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Let me split differential on this bad boy. And uh, yeah, it is one hell of a machine. A um, little bit, you know, a little bit of a animal in the wet. But I tell you what, that's all part of the fun, man. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't checked out Sid's videos, he is a total nutter. But I mean, knows how to handle a car. He yeah. knows how to handle the car. Oh mate, weather's like this in the rain, why not? Go for yeah. it. My car's in comfort mode. <laughs> the lovely work on the S-Type. Oh yes. That is much better than the white dot. It is unenjoyable weather, but my Audi is coming out. <laughs> you can see that the spoiler hasn't been added yet. That is coming in a couple of days, but for the first time, I think, on camera, my two cars are next to each other. <laughs> yes. And there's Sid, uh, he just popped out to the shops. I've said goodbye to the guys at Dub Customs. My car is ready to hit the road. I'm leaving the AMG GTS here and I'm taking this bad boy. I'm coming back on Saturday to get the spoiler done, but let's go for a drive. Oh, I'm so excited about driving this car. Uh, oh. oh my God. Do I need to put the seat down? Yep. I always have the seat in the lowest form. There we go. Ew. Oh no, I'm going back. <laughs> oh, I'm going back even further. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to put this down. <sighs> Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, the beast is alive. And I've got 20 miles of fuel. It feels so good to be back in this car. It is just comfort, it is just stress-free. And I'm using these words, I'm not, like these, I get that in the AMG as well, but there's just, there's something fun about this car. And it is just an absolute pleasure to be back behind the wheel of it with no dents, no injuries, 
not even a scar of where the tree attacked it. This, I, I'm so happy. I am so happy. And I'm really excited about like bringing this back into the videos because for those that have subscribed to Supercars of London since March, April time, when it disappeared from my YouTube channel, it was because I just couldn't bear to drive the car with all of the dents over it. And seeing it was like only six months old since I picked it up, I just sort of didn't enjoy driving it. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it a thumbs up for the nuke and subscribe if you haven't already because I think it's been a fun video and I completely forgot about the fact that I'd pranked Sam again uh, but I'm pretty sure his time difference means that he's asleep now. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.